Hello everyone, uh, today uh, we would like to make one more video about trailer because I sold my old trailer and right now I got another trailer it's not new but it's uh, 2010 and why I got another trailer I would like to explain it and if you buy a new trailer you must know this because uh, right now uh, some places have some restriction for your trailer and not only year make uh, when your trailer is old maybe they don't want it but if it looks good it doesn't matter what year I never have a problem with year but uh, when you have a translucent roof or you have a wooden walls or maybe it's not too wide yeah this is a problem and right now I'm gonna uh, uh, show you, uh, on my trailer what exactly uh, you need to look when you buy your new trailer <coughs> when you buy your uh, new trailer most shipper they wanted trailer to be plated it's mean have his plate here this all plates must be metal, aluminum or plastic because if it's gonna be wooden they might not like it because they're gonna have to do more extra job like they putting some wrapping on your walls and, and the floor too some company do but some they just reject your trailer second thing your trailer should be wide more than 100 inch it's best to have 202 inch we're gonna check this one how, how many inch this one and One inches. Okay, this, this trailer is 101 inch, but this is okay. Even if you go to the load which has a 202 inches, they they are not gonna see the difference. Okay, and one more thing is important: is this is a roof. When you when when you buy your trailer your roof should be aluminum not fiberglass because if it's fiberglass roof it's my leak also it might have uh, some stuff when you carry in some stuff which not allowed to sunlight go through and sometimes the trailer is getting too hot this is important thing too also one more thing i would like to show over here if you have a if you have a here these things here which inflate your tires and it's keeping your pressure in your tires in same level this is a good stuff for your trailer too even if, if you got some leak some nail which leak it's not gonna lose much air you can be able to go to your place and replace it <coughs> okay right now and important stuff too to have a door like this 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 door is not a roll up door it's it's you can open this door like this how it's called it's called called swing door if you have a swing door it's best for you swing door not roll up door and this one is best because many they don't want it to accept the doors 
Okay, right now I got this trailer and I need to do some job. And uh, right now I'm gonna repeat all things which you need to know about when you buy a uh, trailer. First, the trailer should be wide enough, more than 100, 101 or 102. This is one. Second, this is aluminum roof. You should have aluminum roof. It's must. Also, it should be plated. When your trailer has a plate, it's gonna be accepted in everywhere. <coughs> also, the swing doors. And uh, if you have a like automatic inflation on your tires, this is plus two, but it's not mandatory. And also, this trailer is not uh, like uh, not carb compliant. But I don't worry about this because nobody cares about this, even here in California. Okay, I think this video helps you when you buy your new trailer. You should follow these steps because if you have a different one, you can have some difficulty to pick up the load. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and see you next time.